Uh, hello everybody, welcome to another reading, and this will probably be the last reading before my 100, 100 subscriber video. I am currently at 99, and I'm very excited because, you know, I just need one more subscriber to get to 100, and then I can finally hold the contest! Yeah! Alright, you know, but, you know, that's gonna be awesome. Um, but you know, welcome, uh, and today I'm reading A Question Pie, which is written by Magasaur. And it's basically, well, Soren, Soren shit with Pi. I don't even know. And this is also recorded on my turtle beaches because I am, um, you know, I, I, I'm going to send the, whatchamacallit, the blue snowball back. And, uh, yeah, but I haven't gotten around doing it yet. So yeah, uh, that will be in the future, you know. But, um, it's a relatively short story, I believe. Yeah, it is. Uh, this will actually take a couple seconds. But, yeah. <laughs> okay, but still, you know, that's how. As the pie slowly fell, Soren yelled, My pie! And thought of all pies he ate that weren't as perfect as this one. If the pie fell to, fell to its early demi demise, then the young stallion might get depressed into hanging himself. Um, okay, that's, um, really weird. But luckily, a blue mare flew in at Mark 9000. <gasps> it's over 9000! Lol. And caught the pie, mere centimeters from the floor. It was none other than Rainbow Dash. Ah, oh, you saved it, said the relieved Soren. Thanks, without an A. A, hey, no problem. Or no prob, as stated there, replied Dashy. After Soren calmed, he took a detailed look at Dash. The sight of the blue mare with radical rainbow hair, neatly tamed by the big red be bead. Bed? Bead? I don't know. Also, the dress is neat too. This immediately gave Soren a massive wing boner that sprung with a boing. He couldn't take that down, so he grabbed the pie and flew back to his house at Cloudsdale. What sprang his wings? wondered Dash she out loud, confused, until she found out what happened. Rainbow Dash was left with a sinister grin on her face. She knew how obvious the wing boner was, and she hatched a plan so evil that Nightmare Moon would would have felt uncanny. She followed him post haste, carefully leaving enough distance between the two from having so sore a notice. The embarrassed stallion quickly hid in his house, in so much of a rush that they forgot to lock the door. The wing boner still didn't go away, as he is filled with raging sexual hormones. With the tension filling to burst, Soaring had to relieve it some way to keep from being crazy. Oh my gosh, I am totally psyching out. He looked at his pie. His pie looked at him. It looked so soft and del delicious. Thinking of the pie reminded him of the blue mare's exotic body. Such rainbows brought him a warm glowing pleasure into his heart. Soon the pie was replaced with the full image of Rainbow Dash but only naked. Ooh. Also, she was hunched down and was facing the other way. Dash shook her booty from side to side, just asking for it. The pony now sang in a seductive voice. Come at me, brony. Oh, God. <laughs> I must, Soren, fully erect, stuck it in. What in the hay? Dash, outside, saw through the window and was hilariously shocked with what she is currently seeing. She can't believe that her hero is furiously having sex with that damn apple pie. Dash took out her camera and started to take an in incriminating pictures. If she couldn't be a wonderbolt by their merits, then she was terrified. Then she was terrified. Then she was terrified one into letting her join. What the hell? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This will this is perfect. This will take this will make him consider taking me in ten seconds flat. Oh, Rainbow Dashy! <laughs> Soaring climax, and the pie was being full with a different type of filling. After that was over and his wing boner died down, he inspected the pie. Well, I can't have this pie go to waste, said Soaring. He bent down and ate what was left, which was a pie with a big hole in it. Oh, yuck! Disgusted Dash barged into the doorway and confronted Soaring. What? How? Who are you? Stepping out from the shadows, Rainbow replied, "I'm just here to show you these." Emphasizing, she held out the blackmail, bringing an anxious look on the male pony's face. 
it's you. And you saw and heard everything, did you? What are you going to do with those? I might just ruin your, your reputation, you sick colt. But let's make a deal. I'll do anything. If those photos get out, I'll be kicked out of the Wonder Volts. The Phillies and Colts that look up upon me as a role model will be crushed. Do you want that that on your mind? Everett Pony, lol. And Colts that looked looked up to me as a role model will be crushed. What? Wait. Everett Pony will hate me. Explained Soaring as he tried to guilt the mayor into giving up. <sighs> I don't care. I just want to be a Wonderbolt. Just recruit me, and this. Silly filly little thing will all burn from history. Soren knew co What the fuck? This uh, this is a horribly written story by the way. Soren knew couldn't let this devilishly nightmare join. I was gonna re recommend you cuz I liked you, but any filly willing to stoop this dirt and low can kiss her chances. Those words forever echoed into the shallow mind that will always be rainbow dash. Um, what are you doing? Oh, whatever. Soren flew outside and rushed through the clouds all the way to the ground. Rainbow knew what she was doing. He was doing, so she dashed. But instead, her dress was caught by a loose nail. Oh, crud! She tried to pull free, except that her host couldn't pull it free, being all fingerless and stuff. With so little time, Dash flew up and slew, slew away? That should be flew. Way faster and faster. The well-made dress made with well-made ingredients wasn't tearing apart. Dash tried to mercy, merciless fly in vain. But hope shone as she pulled off a rain boom on the spot, speeding away and tore the dress into pieces. Dash flew downward, stopping completely, only to know that, that she was too late. A splattered mess of brain matter was spread to cover every acre of grass. Oh. Ooh. The bunnies hopped out of their bushes and enjoyed a delicious buffet that was once one of the best flyers in all of Equestria. Oh. With a frustrating sigh, Dash spoke in a disappointing tone. Well, this was the worst night over. Wow. So many misspellings, man. So much typos. With the f um. Screw this, I'm going home. So she galloped back to her house. Getting ready to fly, Rainbow Dash was squashed to death by a falling piano. Guts and stuff flew everywhere. Blah, blah. No! Oh. Derpy, flying up next to her disappointed supervisor, happily apologized. Oops, I dropped my muffin. No! <laughs> what is this, like? Frickin' whatchamacallit, um, Final Destination? <laughs> That's what you call karma. Later that year, Ditsy Doo replaced Soren and became a Wonderbolt. Her daughter, Dinky, was proud of her wonderful mom. Um, okay. So, yeah. Soaring fucking a pie, Dash making photos of it, and trying to blackmail him. Soaring squashes him to the ground and dies, and then Dashie gets crushed by a piano out of absolutely nowhere. Seems legit. Okay, so, um, <laughs> there were so many typos in this, I don't even know. It's. Um, yeah, this is actually one of my shorter readings, like, it's just a couple minutes. But yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I might do, um, some other readings tonight, I don't know, and I'll get them up pretty soon. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and make sure to hit that subscribe button, like, one person, one single person needs to subscribe, and then I can finally do the contest. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.